Hi, this is Steve at BlessedHopeForever.com. Our attention is being drawn at this time to what we believe is the first sign in the heavens in this new year that we have now entered into 2019. Now, I wouldn't be putting this out there if I didn't believe it had relevance to the final days that we've entered into. Uh, as you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in the fact that nothing happens uh, coincidental. So here, uh, bear with me as I, I quickly go through 12 points that we here at Blessed Hope Forever see intriguing about this first sign in the heavens this year. If you find some of the dates mentioned uh, confusing, you may want to go back as far as September of last year where in thinking outside the box, I began exploring the final day of 5778, March 8, this year, uh, the spiritual new year on the Hebrew calendar. Month 1, day 1 on the Hebrew calendar. Were that a rapture on that date would see the kingdom begin on Israel's birthday in 2026, and I find that pretty amazing. But even more so when I see that that day in Scripture uh, being the very day that the earth was dry, uh, we read about this in Genesis, representing the end of God's judgment. So, so here's what I've stitched together as far as this, uh, this lunar eclipse that is going to appear January 2021. Number one, it is the first full moon of 2019. Uh, two, it is the first lunar eclipse of 2019. Three, it's an eclipse-heavy year. 2019 is, a, is an eclipse-heavy year with five eclipses occurring. And four, it's a supermoon. And five, the last total lunar eclipse until May 25 of 2021. Now, interestingly, I calculate 111 days from its appearance to Pentecost on May 11, 111 to May 11. Number seven, it also occurs on Trump's two-year anniversary of taking office, and we all, I think most of us now are aware of the many sevens that are associated with Trump. Number eight, lunar eclipses are given as a sign to Israel, whereas solar eclipses are generally given as a sign to the nations. But could it be the day that we have long awaited? I mean, could the rapture actually occur uh, on this eclipse? Um, the, my first thought was that no, it's because it's a sign, and a sign and an event are two different things. An, an event is one thing, a sign is another. If, if it occurs and it is a sign to Israel, then I don't see how it could be the rapture, but then I had to stop myself and think that, well, perhaps uh, the rapture could occur uh, during this solar eclipse and it still be a sign to Israel. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not being dogmatic, as you know, about any particular date. All we've ever tried to do here is, is give, project the most likely date given on the given at the present time. The most likely, uh, as far as numbers goes, and day counts go, uh, if, it, if it starts on a significant date, ends on a significant date, uh, which, which I believe that is quite possible, that's all we've ever tried to do. And uh, so we haven't, we haven't abandoned our post here, even though we've been studying through Romans, we haven't, we haven't quit you know, on quit watching. We're still watching, and, and I find this interesting. Um, so lunar eclipses are given as a sign to Israel, but it could very well be the day that we've, we've been looking for. Number nine, it's 77 days from the eclipse, January 21st, to April 8, uh, which is when the tribulation would begin 30 days after a rapture on March 8, if, if the rapture did occur on March 8. It would be 1,290 days to the midpoint. 
and uh, the last 1260 of that being the, the witness of the two, the ministry of the two witnesses. Uh, that forces that, that 1290 up front, 1290 to the midpoint, and then another 1260, the Antichrist reigns, that's 2550 days to the return, 2625 days, uh, full days to the kingdom, and, and so there is that 30-day gap. And so it's 77 days from the eclipse, January 21, to April 8. Uh, that would be when the tribulation would begin 30 days after a rapture on March 8, if it were to occur. March 8, the final day of 5778. Number 10, March 8, 2019 is 700, I pointed this out in the past, it's 777 days since Trump was sworn in as president. So the, 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 the final last day of 5778 will mark Trump's 777th day as president. And interestingly, number 11, it is also 777 days up to March 8, 2021, we see that date again, March 8, 2021. The same day 5778 would have ended in 2019. The two-year anniversary of that 5778 end date. And finally, it appears in Cancer. Uh, you can uh, Stellarium that. You can even Google that. Just do a simple Google search. Uh, passes through the Beehive Cluster. Um, looking at the Maseroth, the meaning uh, of cancer, uh, if you kind of summed it all up together, it means a place of shelter, resting place, cattle folds, in including kids and lambs, binding together and encircling, sheltering, one who possesses them, and a multitude. And so when we really take a, a really good hard look at, the, at cancer, what we see is it it actually has resurrection written all over it and so I, I can't help but find that a little bit exciting the beehive cluster in cancer is also known uh, by as the uh, prosepi which means manger uh, it means the multitude or the innumerable seed uh, interestingly we I just showed you the the elevens the 111 and and uh, and so on. It's the 11th constellation, Cancer is. It's depicted as a crab, and it denotes that which is born of water. And of course, that reminds us of New Testament Christianity, whose symbol is that of a fish. For we've been born of water, a type of the Holy Spirit. And the crab has an unusual feature. Uh, from time to time, it tends to, or it sheds its outer skin and it comes forth with what appears to be new life. The symbol represents resurrection of, of, of New Testament saints who are part of the rapture and, and accompany the, uh, the translated living saints to heaven. Now, according to E.W. Bullinger in his book, The Witness of the Stars, the sign of cancer was represented in an ancient Egyptian zodiac as a scarab beetle. But the implication was the same. In ancient Egypt, the scarab would crawl under a rock, and later the, the beetle would break open the shell of its body and emerge as a beautiful winged creature to fly away. Again, the implication is that of resurrection. According to Kenneth C. Fleming in his book, God's Voice in the Stars, the word cancer comes from a root word meaning to hold or encircle. For that reason, Fleming believes the constellation refers to an ancient eastern inn where the animals were kept for safety. In another ancient zodiac, the constellation was called Claria, meaning cattle folds. If, if this is the meaning of cancer, then it is a picture of heaven where the shepherd keeps his sheep. And that is still in keeping with the overall concept of the resurrection and the rapture. There's several stars in Cancer, the brightest one meaning holding, 
And another one means sheltering or hiding place. There's another one that, that means assembled thousands. And there's another one that means the kids or lambs. And a cluster of stars in the middle of the constellation means multitude. It's, it is a beautiful view of that day when we'll be transported into heaven to stand before our Savior. So here you got it. This is it. Do what you want to with it. Just wanted to put this out there for your thinking. Uh, we're coming up on that day pretty fast. Um, I uh, just want to thank everyone for all their, their prayers, their encouragement, their support, especially those that have written me concerning our, our studies through Romans. I love you all. I truly do. Until next time, this is Steve. Thanks for watching.